Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to continue our JavaScript basics with talking about numbers. So if you've worked with other programming languages before, you might know that uh, other languages break up numbers into several different types. You have floats, you have integers, which are, you know, uh, values that don't have decimals and stuff like that. Uh, basically, uh, with JavaScript, you just have numbers and numbers encapsulate any of that. So if you want to use a number for any particular reason, you would turn it to a number. So let's see what we can do with numbers, right? So let's come to our code here and we council log to this variable, hello world. Um, and now we're gonna council log just a new variable and this is just going to be value and value is going to be equal to three. Notice how I don't put quotes around this. I do finish it off with a semicolon. Uh, most lines to all lines in JavaScript are finished with a semicolon. Uh, so when you're done with a particular sentence, so to say, uh, you finish it with a semicolon. So we have the va variable value is equal to the number three. And my code coloring my, uh, sort of takes care of this so you know that this is different than a string which turns yellow. So if we were to now console.log our value, what might you expect? Let's come to our page and you see it just outputs the number three. That's cool. So let's create a new variable and let's try something different. We're gonna say var new value. Actually, let's not use new. Let's do value two just like here. Notice how I capitalized the uh, second word, the first letter of the second word, something called camel case. It's used uh, for JavaScript variables. Uh, and that's really just sort of a style thing. You could technically name this all sorts of things, but um, you'll see this a lot in most people's code and it's nice to stick to uh, conventions. So instead of having three here like this, we have three like this. And notice how this character is still the number three, but it's yellow, it's being wrapped in quotes, so therefore it's a string. So now let's console log value, and let's console log value two. And let's come to our page and refresh. And notice how this chrome, it recolors them, so you see three is a darker blue, and the other three is black, so it's a string. Now, I'm not sure that all councils color their eyes these. Um, it could just be Chrome's inspect. Uh, I, I can't speak on that. However, they're both three. It's outputting three. However, this is not a number. So what are some features of numbers that make them worthwhile? Well, numbers can perform mathematics, right? So you can use numbers uh, in the most basic sense for addition. So let's try something like this where we plus three like that. And now let's plus three like this. Uh, we'll get into the specifics of uh, what happens when you're using the plus sign in strings. However, for this example, we're just gonna show what you can do with numbers. Refresh. This just added the two strings together, giving us 33, where the number actually comp uh, computed the math. So it added three to three and output six. So this is the beauty of numbers here. We could even do something like value plus value, refresh, and it's still gonna be six. We could have value be 3.1, whatever, like this. Refresh, notice how it just still does the addition like normal. Like I said, there's no distinction between integers or, or floats or anything like that. But we have numbers and numbers are capable of performing all sorts of great uh, computations and we can use them in all sorts of wonderful ways in programming. So we have a hello world string, we have a value and we have a value two that's a string of three. Let's get rid of this value two like it here. Let's just set this back to three. And these are numbers in JavaScript. Now, obviously there's a ton more to it and we're gonna go over all of the specifics. So if you know JavaScript and you feel like we've left something out, it's obviously on purpose. What we're doing here is we're really just trying to build a foundation 
uh, for you to understand JavaScript. And this is at its very most basics. You have a string, which is text. You have a number, which is a number. And from there, we can do all sorts of great things. So as always, if you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter, I love, love, tuts. Let us know what you're thinking. We love to hear from you. There's lots more to come in this series. It's going to be really exciting. So thanks for watching. This is Scott Polinsky. Bye-bye.